Hi, welcome to my channel Too Irrational. I'm Pranesh Sharma, and in this video, we'll talk about how we will solve a question of profit testing in Microsoft Word for our examination CM1 paper A. Here, I have taken an example of unit link bond that also had multiple decrements. So the expectation for our answer is something like this, where we will have a multiple decrement table, a unit table, non-unit table, and then we have to find the profit margin. So we have profit margin table as well. But if you solve this on paper and then make tables, it will be very lengthy. Now for students of Indian examination, they would be asking only a few values to be returned or they will give you sort of an MCQ type question here where they would be either asking you directly give the values of unit fund at the end of the year then non-unit cash flow at the end of the each year and then they might ask you the net present value of profit as well as expected present value of premium and then ask you directly the profit margin. So that means you'll have to solve it on paper and give only these particular values, not the whole table. So that makes it a, a little bit easier to write. For students of UK examination, we will have to draw the whole table. Now, obviously solving this on Excel would be much easier, but copy pasting from outside our document is strictly not allowed. So you cannot solve this in Excel and then, you know, copy paste it here. But we have a workaround. Now, what is that? Always start it from a new page. And in new page, if you go to this table, okay, insert table. Here we have something called as Excel spreadsheet. So if you insert this Excel spreadsheet, you are effectively making an Excel table inside Word document. Now you have to be very careful while using this Excel spreadsheet. I'll tell you what problems you may occur, uh, you may see and how to avoid them. So first of all, it opens a small box. If you're going to make a profit testing question, it will be lengthy. So you should need as much space as possible. So first thing we'll do is we will extend this box as much as we can. So I'll extend it. Now see if I scroll here, I'm scrolling inside this box. If I scroll outside, then I'm scrolling here. Okay. So I just want to extend this as much as I can. Okay. So that would be maximum of this page length. So I'll scroll again outside and up to this point. This is the maximum that we can go. Okay. We should actually go a little bit less than the maximum. What I'll do is maybe something here. Later on we can extend if we need it. Now remember one thing, do not scroll inside your document. Why? I will show you later on. But we want our A1 to be visible here. Then this Excel sheet is effectively an Excel document inside your Word. So you can see here on top, you have all the options that we see in Excel. You can even see data, what if analysis and goal seek. So you can do goal seek here as well. So that might be useful in some kind of questions. Now here, if I scroll, see here uh, in the document, it, it scrolls down the Excel sheet. I do not want that. So let's say for this question, first I would have to make a multiple decrement table. Multiple decrement table. Then I will just start solving from sec second row or third row and I'll make my table here. Okay, multiple decrement table, then make unit table inside. If I need uh, to connect something from here, I can connect it inside this file directly. Now, when you click outside, okay, I, I'll show you one thing. This is our multiple decrement table. I'll write here something as well. Let's say I value and this is our J value. Okay. So if I click it outside, you can see now I have sort of a table here. 
this is our excel sheet you can see the multiple decrement table return a return here and af and we are back to our word document okay we are back to our word document now you can scroll down and keep on writing your answers so whenever you want to let's say edit i made some mistake i want to write edit here again i will double click on this sheet and it will go back to our excel you can see here we have we are back to our excel options now what happens is if i scroll down and then click outside here you will see now i've lost whatever i had written there so our aim is that in this kind of view you should have your answer i'll show you see this is how our answer would look so i have made this inside that excel sheet you can see the multiple decrement table unit fund table non unit fund table profit testing and then profit margin so everything i've solved as we would in excel just you can say one below the other and you can see here i cannot see what i had written here so i'll double click because i am at 13th row i will go up and i get these values so we should not be scrolling here and there inside this excel sheet because that would not be visible in our word afterwards here okay this is the solution the first thing is i have solved this multiple decrement table then unit fund exactly same as we would in excel you can see here formula sheet uh, formula bar and we have different formulas and stuff exactly like we would in excel then if i scroll down you can see non unit fund table here you will find that i have taken values from above h14 g5 and stuff so i've connected it i have written all of these values as we would in excel now i did not have i did not have these borders so you can skip any borders does not matter or you can just select your table go here in borders and click all borders and that way is i have made table non unit fund table and each of these table inside my word file okay, using excel spreadsheet make sure complete answer is solved within one page do not use multiple pages because you will not be able to connect those files together okay and you you want to show your final answer in one single page similarly if you have a table uh, if you have a question of uh, endowment policy you can solve it if you have a question of unit link policy this is how you can solve it and you can write your final answer here in this excel spreadsheet for any doubts on how to solve other types of questions in word you can check out the playlist in the description below where i have taken examples of different chapters and solved it in microsoft word if you like this video please like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one